right, so we have the numbers ready of the judges. To take on the first question, we will now have in the female category, contestant number five. Okay, contestant number five, she picked Dutch number one. Dutch number one. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Okay, my question tonight is, do you think winning this title will help you in your personal as well as in your professional life in future? And if so, how? Well, thank you ma'am for your question, and yes, I think that winning this title will make me to fulfill my dream and also inspire and encourage the other girls who also aspire to become or, take, or participate in a pageant because pageants are, are a platform that gives every girl to fulfill their dreams and it builds up their confidence so that's all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Mega Model Hunt, top seven. Contestant number one. Judge number three. Good evening. Good evening, miss. My question to you is, what makes a model different from a supermodel? First of all, a very good evening to each everyone present here again. <clears throat> and thank you, thank you for the question, miss. So, according to me, a model is someone who inspires the younger generation and also helps to improvise as well as, uh, as, well as create a change in the society. And then, the model, according to me, a model is someone who is humble, kind and intelligent. And, uh, sorry, <clears throat> and, to me, and according to me, a supermodel, to me, they are similar with the model but then, sorry. According to me, the super. Uh, according to me, the model and supermodel for me. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Mega Model Hunt 2022. Top seven spot. Taking the question, contestant number six. Judge number three. Hello, beautiful. Hello, ma'am. My question to you is very simple. Why did you become a model? Thank you so much, ma'am, for your question. Why did I become a model? Well, it is because I have always wanted to try something new in my life since I'm still young. And I chose to become a model so that I could inspire the youth and those who wanted to choose this model as an option. I also believe I have firm courage and determination as well as the confidence to become a model and grow better in the future. Thank you so much. Top seven in the boys category. Taking the question, contestant number three.
Judge number two. Hello. Hello, sir. How would you define success? Thank you so much, sir, for the question. First of all, good evening, ladies and gentlemen present out here. Success, according to me, is to be happy in life and if I could make a sad soul or if I could save a single soul and make them smile, then that would be a big success for me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Moving on. Top seven in the female category. Taking the question. Contestant number eight. Judge number one. Contestant number eight. What does it mean to be a modern woman? Do you want me to repeat the question? Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your question. To be a modern woman should be different from the other women. To be a modern woman should not be about the dressing styles and all, but also to have a specific ideas of to lead the woman empowerment also in, in this in this a very particular society. Because when you look at the other other societies in the practice, we know that like women are uh, they didn't get any uh, rights to do the things and they are followed to do the rules and regulations under the uh, in the rural areas but now as it is a technological world we can also we can also do what we like as a woman there, there should be no discrimination that women can't be a modern woman but to be a modern woman we should set in a good example to act and inspire the other women also. Thank you so much. Really, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Mega Mon Hunt 2022. Top seven. The next contestant. Taking the question. Contestant number six. Judge number two. Describe yourself in three words. So much grateful for the question, sir. As expected, your question turns out to be as brilliant as you. <laughs> My humble answer to your wise question is I am so determined, confident, and positive. Thank you. Our contestants are not only stunning, gorgeous, and handsome but they are brilliant, they are smart, they are wise as well. And I believe the judges will agree with me on that. Moving on. Top seven, taking the question in the female category, contestant number nine.
Judge number two again. What is the biggest challenge younger girls face today? Thank you so much, sir, for the question. The biggest challenge faced by the girls today is not, not being an independent woman, always under the rules and regulations of the persons and discriminate, they face sexual harassment and also not getting the rights, though the article Though the Constitution has given the rights to the female. Thank you. Thank you. On top seven in the male category, taking the question, contestant number nine. Judge two again. Who is your role model? Akbar. Thank you so much for the questions, sir. I would say that my role model it's no one, it's me. It's myself because I believe in me and when no one is there in life, I could build my career with my trust, with my patience and with my determinations. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. We have the remaining six contestants on top seven category taking the question. Contestant number 11. Judge two again. If you win today uh, this title, so can you, uh, what do you say for young uh, generation? Okay sir, so thank you so much for your question. If I win the title today, Miss, uh, Mrs. Mecca Model Han, then I will inspire my younger generation to come up of your comfort zone and be a pageant. Be a pageant so that you can inspire someone other to be a pageant and we need thank you. Next contestant, contestant number 11. Judge one. Contestant number 11, I have a very interesting question for you, so I, I want you to think and answer, all right? all right? If you had to sacrifice something in your life to become successful, what would that be and why? Well, first of all, thank you, ma'am, for the question. Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. My answer to this would be the one thing that I would lose is the laziness that I have within me, inside me, because this laziness will not take me further, nor success can lead, nor could I be on a point that I could be a successful person. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe you are enjoying and going with the flow of the question round. Um, we are getting a lot of uh, relevant and smart questions from the three judges and very smart answers from our contestants as well. 
Moving on, our next contestant taking the question is contestant number 12. Judge three. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, Mel. My question to you is, what is your view for sustainable fashion industry in Maglin? Can you please repeat the question again? Sure. What is your view for sustainable fashion industry in Naglin. Thank you, ma'am, for the question. According to me, sustainable fashion in Naglin is 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 good. And it's taking the younger and it's taking the younger generations and it's taking the younger generations and the young girls, boys, younger girls and boys to know to know its potential and stand for the right and to fight for the right. Thank you. Thank you. Next contestant, taking the question. Contestant number 10. Judge one. Contestant number ten. What is your philosophy of life in life and what do you value most in your life? Thank you very much for the cushion. And the cushion was wonderful. <laughs> and lovely too. And my answer will be my biggest, my philosophy is live your life once because life comes only once and you have to enjoy the life that God had, God had given you. And no matter what, wherever you, wherever you are, where, whatever you do, you do everything and give your best in everything what you do. Thank you. I believe that was an honest answer. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the last two contestants taking the question. Contestant number 10. Judge one. Contestant number 12. Yes, ma'am. Are women given equal opportunities as men in Nagaland? For the question, in my opinion, um, no, women are not given enough opportunity comparing to men because women are always looked down and men are always looked up. Thank you. Thank you. And a last contestant taking the question. Contestant number two of.
judge too. What is the current national policy you would change? Thank you so much for the question, sir. So, if I were given the opportunity to change a current national policy, then it would be the education system. Because when we change the education system and it, we make it more favorable for the kids, and the upcoming generation then, not only we are educating them in a wise manner, but we are educating an upcoming entire generation, which will overall lead to the social economic growth of the country. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen,